Thank you, Jason, and good afternoon to everyone. I'm just going to give you a short overview of some of the research we do at the Grazing Lands Research Laboratory. This is part of the in-house research arm of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And at our laboratory, our research is basically conducted under a, a nationwide network called the Long-Term Agroecosystem Research Network. And in our particular case, it, it's, it's, it's a, across a wide variety of types of systems, croplands, rangelands, grazing lands that are not rangelands, uh, mixed crop livestock systems. And in our particular focus uh, here in the Southern Plains, we focus on beef grazing systems, primarily the forage-based part of cow-calf and stalker operations. And we, we focused on this because land use in the Southern Plains is dominated by rangeland and grassland. The largest income to producers is from beef cattle production. And there are both uh, cow-calf production and stalker grazing are both very important in this region. And our uh, ranches and farms in this area range from very small to very large. And the forage base that we work with includes a pretty wide variety of native pastures, different introduced uh, perennial pastures, winter wheat, or other annual crops. And we really focus our research uh, very closely to the, the climate dynamics of Oklahoma or the Southern Plains. And this is a slide from Jeff Bassaro. He may have shared, shared it this morning. But it basically, to me, communicates very well to people not familiar with the region of the drought interrupted by flood nature of the climate that we have to deal with. And you have to really be able to handle both phases of our you know, pluvial and drought uh, climates, and the sometimes quite abrupt transition between, um, but from one to the other. So some of the issues we focus on in our research are diversification and sustainable intensification of the wheat, of cattle and wheat production, uh, efficient use of water, improved soil health, resist, resilience to climate stressors, uh, sustained multitude of ecosystem services, and uh, rural, rural lifestyle amenities. And in this geographic area that we focus on, uh, we very much um, uh, have to address the highly variable nature of the climate with the strong precipitation gradients east to west and temperature gradients north to south when we're trying to extend our research out around the region. So the program that we lead as uh, an agricultural research service station, we work with a lot of different partners in our research projects, students, faculty members from Oklahoma State, Kansas State, Texas A&M, University of Oklahoma, the Noble Research Institute, uh, Tarleton State University in Central Texas, uh, and other ARS locations uh, and partners. Um, on a variety of projects. We're also the home of the USDA Southern Plains Climate Hub, and I'll just mention that a little bit uh, more as later on in the talk. And we work quite closely with the Oklahoma Conservation Districts Association and the Oklahoma Conservation Commission, particularly on some of their interests in nonpoint source pollution and soil health, as well as just a wide range of other environmental concerns. And while we basically, within our own internal staff, have primarily uh, biophysical scientists, uh, we do work with a human dimensions working group as part of the LTAR network. So the way that we uh, develop our research projects, we really try to focus our research very closely on, you know, practice practical solutions to real world problems that, are, that face agriculture. And that's kind of a broad definition of agriculture, not just individual farms, but, but the whole regions that, and communities that depend on agriculture. So we work with a lot of different producer groups, extension and other conservation professionals, such as the Natural Resource Conservation Service or some of the state conservation agencies. Um, there's a very strong Southern Plains Soil Health Partnership that's producer driven and we work with them on some of our research, targeting our research uh, toward some of the questions that they have. Um, we interact with some of the early adopter producers uh, to observe the su successful practices that they're implementing on their farms and engage in some on-farm research to quantify <laughs> particularly soil impacts uh, of, of how they manage the land. 
So some of our university funded uh, and grant funded research has uh, looked at producer attitudes about climate and uh, engaging next generation researchers, the graduate students, postdocs, and, and undergraduate students as well into our research. We do, do have a strong partnership with a K to 12 STEM educators uh, to build agricultural and science literacy. Uh, in the region, they also work quite a lot on teacher training uh, workshops and curriculum development. And, and we share our, our information uh, through field days, workshops, fact sheets, et cetera. And this is just a, a summary slide that I put together uh, to talk about our research. Um, basically, focusing on, one, on that center um, oval, resilience and sustainability, both of the agroecological and the socioeconomic processes, and looking at that from the perspective of multiple stakeholders, multiple scales, and multiple objectives. So in our research program, I would say the, uh, the uh, boxes that are in the upper right-hand and lower left-hand corners are where most of our in-house research focuses on the <coughs> landscape and hydrologic function, as well as climate. And then we also uh, try to bring in demographics, economics, communication through a, a wide variety of partners. I was, I was not going to do that.